en cours de Président, please be seated. Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now back in session. Reprise des débats. The floor is uh, once again given to the defense team to continue putting questions to the witness. You may proceed, counsel. Thank you, Mr. President, but we were finished. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Nous en avons terminé. Le Président. Thank you. And the floor now is given to the defense team for Q and Pons. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, Bonjour. Uh, good afternoon. Monsieur Taiki Moon. Je m'appelle Antalissé, <coughs> je suis co-avocat international de Monsieur Fessampan. C'est à ce titre que je vais vous poser quelques questions complémentaires. Vous avez indiqué que vous ne vous souveniez plus du, nom du chef de la commune de Pim Chikang sous le Kampuchea démocratique. Est-ce que vous vous souvenez en revanche du nom du chef de la sécurité de cette même commune I know a, a person named Can and Horn. Horn. I only know their names, Je ne que leur nom. but I never met them. Je ne les ai Et Horn, selon vous, il and avait quel poste you, what was Hong's position? <coughs> He worked uh, in the, within the compound Il of the uh, pagoda, and uh, he was pagoda. the chief of that uh, prison. Il était le chef de la prison. Et à part lui, est-ce que vous vous souvenez de him, qui travaillait au sein de la pagode who was working at the pagoda? I don't, uh, since I never entered uh, the pagoda uh, in the unit the regime. Sous le régime. Dans votre déclaration E3-5257, ERN en français, 00342666. ERN en Khmer 00243104, ERN en anglais 00251018. Dans votre déclaration, vous évoquez le groupe des longues épées. Alors j'ai compris que devant euh, la chambre, vous avez indiqué que vous en avez fait partie que un court instant, à savoir de moi. Mais dans votre déclaration, vous indiquez que ce groupe était subdivisé en plusieurs groupes. Et vous avez indiqué, répondant à la question, qui arrêtait la population. Vous avez répondu l'unité de la sécurité. Est-ce que vous vous souvenez de cette déclaration Et est-ce que vous vous souvenez qu'il y avait bien une unité de la sécurité au sein du groupe des longues épées Well, security force members uh, stayed and worked uh, within the premise of the pagoda. And as for the long sword group, I uh, did not know uh, the details about them. Donc, quand vous évoquez dans votre déclaration l'unité de la sécurité, vous parlez uniquement de celle euh, qui était au sein de la pagode, c'est bien ça Durant les deux mois... Euh, Selon votre déclaration, au cours de, desquelles vous avez été intégré au groupe des longues épées, est-ce que vous vous souvenez du nom des personnes que vous avez rencontrées qui composaient euh, ce groupe, d'autres personnes qui composaient ce groupe 
the names of other members of that group. Members of the Lansar group were all very young and, and I did not have any contact with any of them. Est-ce que le nom de Lafchai, Lafchai, à l'attention des interprètes, c'est le numéro 1 sur la liste que je fais circuler Est-ce que le nom de Lafchai vous rappelle quelque chose alors je crois qu'il y a peut-être un problème de prononciation, donc à l'attention des interprètes, je fais circuler une liste justement pour éviter cette difficulté. Donc il s'agit du numéro 1 sur la liste, Lafchoy. S'il y a eu un problème de prononciation, je vous remercie de, de me corriger auprès de monsieur le témoin. Mr. Uh, President, uh, the proper uh, pronunciation is love joy, and I think there is a spelling mistake in the transcript. Thank you. Loud, loud. President, it's love joy, not joy. And Mr. Witness, uh, does that name ring a bell to you? Answer. No, uh, no. Love Joy Love uh, does not joy. ring a bell to me. Est-ce que le nom de Meng Li, numéro 3 sur la liste, How vous dit quelque chose How about number 3 on the list, that's Meng Li. Does that ring a bell to you Meng Li, non I cannot recall that name. Je ne me souviens pas de ce nom. Est-ce que le nom de Hengpa oh. vous dit quelque chose? Does ah. the name Hengpa ring a bell? I uh, cannot recall this name. Maybe they nom. use uh, true names at the same time, and I'm not familiar with the names that you have mentioned so far. Et est-ce que le nom de Yun, numéro 5 sur la liste, vous dit quelque chose Does the name Yun, that is number 5 on the list, ring a bell And what was the position of uh, June? Mais quel était le poste de June? Yeah, the name the And uh, do you know his uh, full name? Connaissez-vous son nom au complet? C'est le seul nom que j'ai et c'est en rapport avec l'unité des longues épées. Donc je ne sais pas quel poste exact il, avait, il aurait eu au sein de, des longues épées, mais ce sera a priori en rapport avec l'unité des longues épées. Donc ma question se rapporte à ce thème-ci. I know a person named June, but the other person was not a member of the Long Sword Group. Et quelle était sa position durant le Kampuchea démocratique? And what was the position held by that person during the democratic Kampuchea regime? What between the lab? He was chief of a mobile unit. Il chef unité mobile. And his full name uh, is Wu Yun. Wu Yun. And during the regime, He was in charge of uh, education at the district. Currently, he is retired. Vous avez fait partie de l'unité des longues épées pendant deux mois. Est-ce que vous avez entendu au sein de la population hein, ce qui était dit au sujet du groupe des longues épées? 
members of the population say anything regarding the long sword group? President, Mr. Vines, please wait, and the international deputy co-prosecutor, do you have the floor? Thank you, Your Honour. I think the question is misstating the evidence. Um, in his statement, uh, he says he was the member of the Long Sword Group, but in his testimony, he's stating that he wasn't a member. Um, and that's what Judge Laverne cleared up with him. So it's, it's mixing two okay. things together. But that was his testimony today. He said he was near where the Long Sword Group was, but he wasn't in the Long Sword Group. Est-ce que, euh, monsieur le témoin, vous pourriez clarifier la situation Est-ce que, oui ou non, pendant deux mois, vous avez fait partie du groupe des longues épées, même euh, s'il s'agissait de travailler euh, dans une rizière I was never a member of the Long Sword Group. Du groupe pour longues épées. I was tasked to uh, guard the rice band for two months, de la garde and then de, I uh, was uh, reassigned to plow the rice fields in Cortoy. Est-ce que vous avez entendu parler du groupe des longues épées au sein de la population durant le Kampuchea démocratique No, I did not, non. since I worked at a far distance from non, where they were. Bien loin de là où ils Et où est-ce qu'ils étaient and where were they? We were in the same area, but we stayed uh, separately and we slept at uh, separately. Nous vivions et nous dormions séparément. Alors, quand vous dites, ils étaient loin de là. Où j'étais, est-ce que vous pouvez euh, nous expliquer cela en termes de distance Qu'est-ce que vous entendez par loin Can you give us an idea of the distance when you say that they were far away from you Their sleeping quarter was about 50 meters from where I was. They stayed at their sleeping quarter while I stayed at uh, the rice barn. À 50 meters, ça veut dire que vous étiez en mesure de voir ce groupe de là où vous dormiez ou de là où vous résidiez. I did not dare look at them, Je jamais osé les regarder. and I did not know whether they were tasked uh, to Je go to this pas. direction or that direction, si uh, so my main focus was to guard the rice barn. Moi, ma tâche était de monter la garde à l'entrepôt. Et pourquoi est-ce que vous n'osiez pas les regarder? And why didn't you dare look at them? I was afraid. J'avais peur. I was afraid that I would uh, be accused of uh, uh, trying to know about the nature of their work. In simple terms, I was afraid. Comme vous l'a indiqué ce matin, monsieur le coprocureur, nous avons eu un témoin qui est venu déposer devant cette chambre et je voudrais vous opposer sa déclaration devant la chambre puisque pour le moment on vous a lu 
a priori que des déclarations. Euh, ces déclarations antérieures devant euh, les enquêteurs des causes d'instruction. Et ce témoin a indiqué que il a participé à l'accompagnement d'un groupe de Cham en direction de la pagode d'Otrakun en même temps que le groupe des longues épées. Ce témoin est Seng Srun. Ma question est de savoir, puisque vous avez dit que vous le connaissez, savez-vous hein, qu'il avait participé à l'accompagnement de d'un groupe de Cham avec le groupe des Longues Épées à la pagode d'Otrakun. Je n'étais pas au courant de cela. Je ne savais pas. Escorted the Cham people. As I stated, I stayed at the Corto and I only returned after 1979. Plus précisément, à propos de la distinction que vous avez faite entre l'unité de sécurité que vous placez à l'intérieur de la pagode et le, les personnes en charge des arrestations. Voilà ce que dit Seng Srun à l'audience du 14 septembre 2015, un petit peu après 14h13. Voilà ce qu'il dit. Ce n'était pas les forces de sécurité qui sont allées faire les arrestations. C'est le groupe des longues épées qui a été établi en 1977 et qui, eux-mêmes, se sont chargés d'aller directement arrêter les personnes. Les forces de sécurité, quant à elles, étaient à la base au centre de détention pour recevoir et arrêter ces personnes. Le groupe ou les membres du groupe des épées longues c'est eux qui The se sont chargés des arrestations. Fin de citation. Ma question à ce stade, M. Saïkimoun, est de savoir si ça vous rafraîche la mémoire. Est-ce que vous n'avez pas entendu à un moment ou à un autre que le groupe des longues épées se chargeait des arrestations I did not say any members of the Lancer group uh, went to make arrest. Je pas dit que des As I said, de I did not uh, stay in the village, dit, so I was not aware of uh, whatever happened uh, in the village. Ce qui passé. I worked on the Je island and I never île. took a boat uh, to cross the river and I only uh, made a boat trip uh, like every uh, two months Je to come and get my uh, rice supply. For that reason, I was not aware at all of any activities that the group uh, involved. Des activités de ce groupe. Toujours le 14 septembre 2015, un petit peu avant 14h22 et 08 secondes, toujours Seng Srun, explique euh, dans quelles conditions il a participé à l'escorte des Cham à la pagode d'Utrakun et voilà ce qu'il dit. J'ai compris qu'on était en train de les arrêter et c'était les membres du groupe des épées longues qui les arrêtaient. Moi, j'étais là pour monter la garde et pour les empêcher d'entrer ou d'aller sur la route principale. Fin de citation. Est-ce que cet événement euh, vous rappelle quelque chose ou vraiment ça ne vous dit rien du tout
If Mr. Saint Seren said he uh, stood guard there, it implies that he uh, was part of the team. I myself uh, did not know Saint Seren at that time, and I became to know him only after 1979. The problem is that. Le 15 septembre 2015, donc le lendemain, ce même Sengstrun donne plus de détails sur le groupe des longues épées ce jour-là. Et il dit, un petit peu avant 9h11 et une seconde, à l'audience donc du 15 septembre 2015, il dit « J'ai reconnu Tai Kim Hoon clairement, car c'était lui qui avait guidé les Cham vers l'endroit où moi j'étais. » Fin de citation. Est-ce que vous comprenez que M. Sengstrun vous met en cause spécifiquement le jour de l'arrestation d'un groupe de 200 à 300 cham en disant qu'il était présent et qu'il vous a reconnu clairement Et quels sont vos commentaires à ce sujet I categorically reject uh, that uh, statement. I reject the statement that uh, Saint Sron alleged that I was chief of security. Saint Sron alleged that I was chief of security. I completely reject the statement. I cannot accept it. Je n'accepte pas ça. Je comprends que vous rejetez. Et ma question euh, logique à la suite de cela, c'est est-ce que Sengstrun aurait une raison particulière de vous en vouloir et de porter des fausses accusations à votre encontre Et si oui, quelles seraient ces raisons I do not know anything je ne sais pas. about that. Je ne sais rien As I said, Saint Sron was a soldier. Comme je vous dit, Saint -Sron était soldat. As for the uh, pagoda, I was Quand a member pagode, of the pagoda committee. I have to uh, cleanse uh, the temple. Dû and le temple. Uh, to my recollection, Saint Sron did not go along uh, while at all with the monks uh, residing in the pagoda. And sometimes he even scolded the monks. Et il lui est and only uh, lately that he, des uh, des uh, des uh, he changed. And then, then he uh, came to assist uh, in doing work in the pagoda. Dans la pagoda. And uh, in the past, he even actually grabbed uh, a portion of the pagoda land uh, and built his uh, own home. Regarding his allegations, I categorically denied it. I was never a security chief or his supervisor or making arrests of any jam people. Not at all. Actually, one day he came to my house. And he said that he was uh, going Et to Phnom Penh, and I asked why, and he said he was called by the court. And I said, yes, then you should go, because uh, you dit, don't oui, have any uh, thing to hide. And then he uh, asked me, Uh, whether I uh, was a member of the Longsword si Group, and I told group him, épées, you better be careful, I am not a member attention. of the Longsword Group, you have to be clear about that. Épées, and that I was arrested clairement. from the cave when I was drafted to be a soldier, and my wife and my children actually wept when I was arrested. And you cannot say that I was a member of the Longsword Group at all. I was drafted to be a soldier after my biography was taken, and I 
note de ma biographie. Well, c'est the, the pain that some of my relatives Et had been killed. And then he asked me whether that is true. Peur and he said, yes, of course, that is the truth. Tué. Il m'a demandé, est-ce que c'est and vrai J'ai répondu, oui, c'est vrai. And I the matter with him. Et j'ai donc précisé toute cette question avec lui. And I will go and talk to him after I return home. Et quand after je my maison, testimony je before this court, I had to confront him. Car je dois le confronter. To bring out the truth. Pour faire sortir la and vérité. of course, if I were his superior at the time, si I will be responsible before the law. Je serai responsable de And I stated uh, already, and I'm uh, stating again. Déjà dit, et je I répète, became to know him after 1979, and before that, I didn't know this instrument at all. Je ne pas ce C'était une longue réponse. That Effectivement, Sainte-Sœur uh, nous a parlé du comité de la pagode et en réponse à la question de savoir pourquoi il avait dit que les membres de la pagode étaient tous des gens des Khmer Rouges voilà ce qu'il dit c'est le 15 septembre 2015 et ça commence un petit peu avant 9h39 et 9 secondes je serai bref dans ma réponse. En ce qui concerne les membres du comité de la Pagode, Pumpi est le chef des cuisines et il y a une autre personne qui est chef du comité et qui l'est encore aujourd'hui. La question qui lui est posée ensuite est la suivante. Pourquoi avez-vous dit tous les membres du comité de cette pagode étaient tous les gens des Khmer Rouges Les deux personnes que vous venez de me citer avaient-elles des postes au moment du Kampuchea démocratique au sein de votre commune Sa réponse est la suivante. Les deux individus occupaient des fonctions pendant le Kampuchea démocratique. Tai Ki Moon était l'adjoint du groupe des longues épées et Pon Pi était le chef de la logistique. Dans la commune, il était également le chef de cuisine dans Samboarmi d'en haut. Donc, ces deux personnes occupaient des fonctions officielles à l'époque. Fin de citation. Donc là encore, non seulement Seng Srun dit que vous avez été à la tête d'une arrestation d'un groupe de Cham pendant le Kampuchea démocratique, mais il vient à nouveau confirmer que vous auriez été l'adjoint du groupe des Longues Épées. Est-ce que vous avez des commentaires à ce sujet My response is that I categorically reject the statement made by Sengstrun. It is an unfair accusation against me. Pen P was a layman at the pagoda and he actually accused Saint Strun of grabbing a portion of the land of the pagoda. For that reason, he had a grudge against this person and I did not know why he blamed me and accused me of being a security chief. Maybe that's the reason that one day a representative from this court uh, came to ask me whether I was the security chief, and I said, no, my name is Taikum Hoon, and from what I understood, the chief of the security there was Hoon, and then I asked, how come you... You came to know, uh, to ask me whether I was Pourquoi the security vous chief, vous and vous the investigator said uh, somebody lived near the pagoda made that allegation, and now I know the, who the person uh, is, qui a été cette person. and I reject uh, that allegation before this court. Une 
partie de votre entretien avec les personnes qui sont venues vous interviewer a été retranscrite. C'est le document D166-42.1. Et je voudrais vous relire un, ce qui a été enregistré de ce que vous avez dit. Et euh, vous allez me confirmer si c'est bien à cet événement et à ces déclarations euh, dont vous venez de faire état. Donc c'est l'ERN en français 0114243. ERN en Khmer 0114-1831. Il n'existe pas de traduction de la transcription en anglais, mais je vais lire lentement à l'attention des interprètes. Voilà ce qui est indiqué hein, que vous avez dit lors de votre entretien avec euh, les enquêteurs des coach d'instruction. Il est possible que mes déclarations aient été mal rapportées, à moins que quelqu'un ne veuille me calomnier. Il est possible que cela arrive. Par exemple, par exemple, une personne souhaite devenir chef de pagode, pourtant, elle n'a pas eu ce poste qu'on me donne plutôt à moi parce que la plupart des gens préfèrent que je prenne ce poste. Il est possible que ce cas arrive et il faut y faire très attention. Fin de citation. Est-ce que vous voulez dire que... Bon, déjà, est-ce que vous vous souvenez avoir tenu ces propos Et est-ce que ça correspond à ce que vous venez de nous dire au sujet des accusations de Sengsrung whether I was security chief at that time. I told him that I was simply an ordinary citizen. He said that... I, I told him that at that time, Horn, I heard Horn was the security chief. I asked him who, tell, who told him that I was the security chief in the regime. He, in reply, he said that Uh, someone so in the village uh, told him about that. And it was said that uh, Saint Sun uh, grabbed a portion of land to be himself. And um, hundreds of uh, villagers in the village said that uh, that portion of land belonged to the Paguda, not uh, belongs to Saint Sun. So Saint Sun Donc, accused uh, me on the matter blindly. J'en ai terminé de mon interrogatoire, Monsieur le Président, et mon confrère uh, Kongsamon a quelques questions complémentaires à poser. Bah, attends, monsieur. Président, you may now proceed, Council Kongsamon. Consul Kung Samon, thank you, Mr. President. Good afternoon, the Chamber. Good afternoon, Mr. Witness. This morning, you made a mention that you had just recovered from illness so when you were interviewed. What kind of disease did you have before the interview? Answer. I had a five injection sorts before I am here because uh, my I have a five. Uh, I had a fi five AB bags before I uh, am here, and uh, my head uh, became uh, hot 
before I am here. Council, Mr. Witness, I want to know about the time when you were interviewed by the investigators of the OCIJ. You stated that you had just recovered from the disease when you were interviewed. So what kind of disease did you contract before the interview? Interrogez, vous veniez de vous remettre d'une maladie. De quelle maladie vous êtes-vous remis? Answer. I went to see a doctor in the hospital. Je suis allé voir un docteur à l'hôpital. And uh, I uh, was told that I had a problem uh, with uh, the brain. I, so I came to un go to my uh, hospital Alors in town allé. and. After a period of time, I went back home. Currently, I was I have been prescribed with the the medicines for me to have a good sleep and also to uh, give me energy. Counsel, thank you. Can you tell the court whether the disease at that time affected your memory? À l'époque, au moment où vous avez été entendu par les enquêteurs, a eu des conséquences sur votre mémoire. Réponse. I, President, Mr. Witness, sir, Président, please hold on. Témoin, you may not proceed. International Deputy Co-Prosecutor. Vous avez la parole. Your Honor, it may be a translation issue, Monsieur, but I didn't hear the witness say that he had a disease. Mais je ne l'ai pas entendu dire qu'il avait une maladie. In the English. So perhaps that could be clarified. Peut-être serait-il possible de clarifier la situation? Uh, nhóm sản phẩm ở Ấn Độ chúng tôi như thế, vẫn nhóm đang thay miền Trung. Not sure I understand uh, the objection by the international deputy co-prosecutor. I am now asking the witness about the illness or disease this witness had before the interview in the past. So can I ask Mr. Co-prosecutor to? Ask about uh, to uh, state again the objection. President, you may continue your questioning, Council Kung Samon. Council Kung Samon, in 19, in 2009, you said that you stated that, that uh, you had a, an illness. So how did that illness affect your memory? Answer. I. Tends to forget where I placed uh, my belongings or my things. So I have been weak from Pol Pot time uh, while I was forced to work hard and I was uh, bitten. And uh, I uh, was hospitalized. In the past, council. Par le passé. How long uh, had you recovered before you were interviewed? L'avocat. Avant de l'avoir été entendu par les enquêteurs. You want to know about the interview? Combien de temps s'est-il passé? In the past, I uh, had recovered one month before the interview took place. Réponse. Un said mois. Witness. Counsel. Un mois avant l'entretien. Did you still? Uh, have a uh, medicines Question at the time you were interviewed? Answer, yes. Réponse, oui. I was still on medication. Je prenais encore des médicaments. Counsel, thank you. Avocat, merci. Did you verify what was written down in the written record of the, of the interview by the investigators? Did someone read for you, read back for you, the written record of the interview at that time? Answer. I did not read uh, myself the written record of the interview at that time. I, I asked uh, my uh, other sibling to read uh, the 
written record Tra interview Tra for me. So it was different le contenu, donc from différent. so the way uh, we read the written record of the interview by myself and the way somebody read for us uh, was completely different. Counsel, at that time, lisez. did you ask anyone to correct the written Maître record Commissaire of the interview? Answer. I do not really understand uh, what uh, you are asking, Mr. Counsel. Counsel. For instance, there was uh, wrong information noted bien, down exemple, in the si written in record of interview and you requested to, to have it corrected. Did you notice that there were mistakes made in the written record of the interview? Answer. I noticed that I may have stated the year wrong. J'ai remarqué que j'avais peut-être mal donné le After 1979, I had been evacuated to leave in PMT Kong. Said the witness. Council, uh, you made mention uh, that point already. L'avocat, vous avez déjà dit cela. Did you request to have that year changed uh, when you were interviewed in 2009, or you requested to have it uh, corrected now? En 2009, ou est-ce quelque chose que vous avez demandé à corriger maintenant? Witness, I have just realized that I may have answered uh, wrong in some particular points in the written record of the interview. Counsel, you stated about the time when you were living close to the pagoda and you stated that your house was located about 70 50 meters away from the pagoda before 1975. When did you leave your house, which was close to Otokun Pagoda? Answer. I was transferred out of um, my area in 1976. It was the time that uh, many people uh, were smashed uh, within, within the compound of the pagoda, and the people were not allowed to walk close to the pagoda. Council, how did you know that it was in 1976 that uh, you were evacuated? Answer, I noticed that in 1976, the pagoda was turned into a security center to house people. Council, thank you. In relation to the time you went to leave in Kortoi, when did you leave for that place? À quel moment êtes-vous parti pour rejoindre cet endroit. Answer. I left to Réponse. work in a farm Je suis parti pour aller at a Gordoy in dans une ferme late 1977, and I was living there until 1979 when the regime failed. Du régime. Council, thank you. What about the period? Between 1976 and 1977, where did you live? Answer. In that period, Réponse. between 1976 and 1977, I was assigned to plough the field at Padao. 
de labourer les champs. Sometimes I uh, was assigned to work Parfois, at O Canal. On m'a demandé d'aller travailler so à O Canal. Person in charge of ploughing field, I was uh, relocated and reassigned to work in different areas. Council, thank you. When you were assigned to plough the field, lorsque l'on vous a demandé de labourer les champs, were you allowed to stay? In you know, in a house on permanent basis, or did you change your house? Dans une maison de façon permanente, ou est-ce que vous deviez changer de logement? Answer. When I was assigned to plough the field, I would I was sleeping under the tree, and where my cows were also tied to that tree. Council, is it correct to say that you did not stay in any house within the village? Answer. Réponse. Council, my question is that when you were assigned to plough the field, you did not stay in a house in the village, village where you were evacuated from. I mean, you did not stay in a house close to Otakun Pagoda. Is that correct? Answer. After my evacuation, I did not. Après I no longer stay in uh, the house within that village. I stayed in an other house, in a different place. Council, I want you to listen to my question carefully. You were assigned to plough the field. On vous a demandé de labourer les champs. Did you stayed in a house within your village. Que vous dans une you stated that you uh, were sleeping vous avez in the field. My question is, did you have Ma a house est, within your village and were you required to stay in your house in the village? De vous que vous dans cette maison, dans le village? Answer. I was assigned to plough in vegetable farms and there were small huts built for me to stay in. I was not allowed to come back and stay in my house in the village. Council, thank you. You made mention that you came to have a meal in the dining hall within the village. And when was that period? Answer. It was when I was uh, reassigned uh, to plough the field within the village, so I was allowed to have a meal in the dining hall within the cooperative or within the village. And whenever I was assigned to plough the field at the lake, I uh, would eat at that place. Question. Question. So where was it exactly when you were assigned to plough the field uh, within the cooperative close to the dining hall? Answer. Du réfectoire. It was not uh, 10 meters uh, away from the dining hall. I was assigned to flood the field about 100 or 200 meters away from the dining hall. Council, how often were you assigned to flood the field close to the kitchen or the dining hall? I want to know about the time when you were assigned to flood the field close to the dining hall. You, all, you already told the chamber that you were assigned to flood the field in the forest at the council and also at the lake. So how often were you assigned to flood the field close to the dining hall? Answer. 
answer. I uh, would uh, be assigned to flap the field in the forest uh, more Comment often than the field uh, close to the dining hall. Council, thank you. Merci. You told the chamber that you were working in the vegetable farm at Cartoge in 1977, and uh, you would uh, visit your village once in every two months. How long did you stay in your village when you had chance to visit your village? Or did you have to return to your work site on the same day? Answer. For instance, if I uh, went exemple, to visit my village at 1 or 2 venais, in the afternoon, I had to return to Gordo in the evening. Dans la soirée. Council, uh, thank you, Mr. Winnes. Mr. Merci, President, Monsieur I am done with my line of questioning. President, you may now proceed. International Deputy Co-Prosecutor. Uh, thank you, Your Honour. Just a, a brief matter. Um, uh, the witness has said that uh, when he would leave this court that he would go and confront uh, the other witness. And I would ask that, um, that you advise this witness um, to, to not confront um, other witnesses that have uh, appeared before this court as a, as a witness um, uh, protection measure for, for both people. Um, I would ask that you would uh, provide that uh, advice to this witness. Thank you. But the president, I don't know what I don't know for him. He is fully matured and he is part of the Pagoda committee. However, Mr. Witness, please. Uh, do not Ceci use any violence uh, when you confront uh, with an other person that is Mr. Singh Strun. It is your obligation to testify before the chamber in order that the chamber can find the truth. Everyone is contributing to finding the truth, and I believe you are part of the Pagoda committee and you are fully mature and you will not cause any incidents to happen while confronting with any concern individual, but please do not try to confront with uh, Mr. Singh Sun and other, any other witnesses who have appeared before the chamber in, under the law, witnesses are not allowed to confront with any other concerned witnesses who have testified before the chamber. Do you understand it, Mr. Witness? Yes, I understand, Mr. President. President, the hearing today has come to a conclusion. Thank you, Mr. Kumhuan, for your testimony. We are kind of you to the truth, and you may not be accused. You may return to your residence or to any other place you wish. I wish you good luck and prosperity. Court officer, please work with a Wesu to send Mr. Tai Kumhuan back to his uh, residence or to any destination he wishes. Thank you also, Mr. Mom Ratia, the duty counsel for the witness. You may also be accused.
Before we adjourn the hearing, we still have a few minutes, so the chamber would like to give the floor to Council Cope to present the response to the submission or request by uh, co-prosecutor yesterday. It relates document a366. You may now proceed. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. President. Um, um, I'm also mindful of the clock and um, the points that I'm going to make, some of them are quite principled. Um, so my question is whether it would not be better, because it's very late in the day, I think everybody's tired, that I make my submissions um, tomorrow morning. <coughs> President, thank you, Council, and I'd like to hand the floor now to Jazz for defense. I have just one question for clarification, but perhaps I misunderstood what you said at the very beginning. Are you providing a response to this uh, request orally, or are you making a different submission? Uh, I will be making a different submission. Uh, we, we will file written submissions uh, as provided by in, uh, the internal rules, but this is a, a different request. Uh, it's two requests for clarifications, uh, actu actually, and uh, one request in, uh, which has broader impact on a possible delay of the proceedings. So I think it would make more sense um, to do it tomorrow when everybody is fresh. President, Secretary uh, Council, and if you need uh, more time to do with your submission, uh, let we uh, do it tomorrow. And tomorrow, we will uh, hear the testimony demain, of the uh, civil party, and we try to complete with the uh, scheduling as uh, the testimony of the civil party has been put off uh, for three or four days now. And we will try to overcome the logistical issue and proceed with uh, our scheduling. The proceedings today come to an adjournment. The chamber will adjourn now and resume tomorrow, the first day, 17 September 2015, commencing from 9 o'clock in the morning. Tomorrow, the chamber will hear testimony of a civil party, that is to TCCP 252. The information is for the parties and the general public security personnel. You are instructed uh, to take the two accused back to the tenth facility and have them return to attend the proceedings tomorrow before 9 o'clock in the morning. The court is now adjourned.